Hi, welcome back class. So now we are going to continue with chapter 5, your gastropan power plan. Um, and this is about your actual simple Britain cycle. Alright, so we are going to try to solve this problem here. Where you have a gas turbine with a pressure of 10 to 1. And the maximum cycle temperature is 1500 degrees C. Where this is actually happening at the exit of your combustion and inlet to your turbine. Given that the isentropic efficiency of your compressor and your turbine are 90% and 95% respectively, which means that your compressor and your turbine is not an ideal, it's not working on ideal condition, right? Yeah, due to some irreversibility, so it's going to have some losses. And given to you the value of Cp is 1.005 kJ per kg dot Kelvin, and your gamma here is 1.4 constant throughout the cycle. If the air enters the compressor at 30 degrees C at a rate of 30 kg per second, first you need to sketch the TS diagram and you need to determine the network of the cycle in kilowatt where network here is actually your work of your turbine minus work of your compressor the backward ratio which is your work of your turbine uh, sorry work of your compressor over work of your turbine and the thermal cycle the efficiency of the overall system as you can see this is a sch uh, schematic diagram of your gas turbine and in order to solve this one we need to plot your TS diagram so you have the compressor here, this is your turbine, this is where your combustion process is happening which is steady with this one and this is where your heat rejection. So we label as 1, 2, 3 and 4. And given to you isentropic efficiencies of your compressor and turbine, so you are going to have the actual value at your compressor outlet and actual value at your turbine outlet so now that you are you have already brought your TS diagram so let's take what have been given to you so you have pressure ratio which is your maximum pressure over minimum pressure your P2 over your P1 P3 over your P4 which is equal to 10 over 1 or 10 your T3 is equal to 1500 degrees C, you need to convert it into Kelvin, which is 1773 Kelvin. Next, you have inlet temperature to your compressor, which is 30 degrees C, and equivalent to 303 Kelvin. And your M dot is equal to 30 kilogram per second. Your CP throughout the process is 1.005 kJ per kilogram dot Kelvin. And you also given your specific heat ratio of gamma is equal to 1.4. Alright. You also are given isentropy efficiency of your compressor, which is WS over WA. And because you are dealing with your ideal gas, so you are going to make use CP change of T. Where you have CP T2S minus your T1 and CP T2A minus your T1, which is equivalent to 0 0.90 or 90%. You also given efficiency of your turbine, which is defined as work actual over work isentropic. So it is Cp T3 minus T4A over Cp T3 minus your T4S. And the value is 0 0.95. So we will see how are you going to make the connection between 0 0.90 and 0 0.95. Okay, now that you have already stated all your given value and your TS diagram, let us find out what are you trying to look for, which is A is for your work net, 
The definition is your work of your turbine minus work of your compressor. So if you expand these two things, we will have m dot times CT, T3 minus your T4A and minus T2A minus your T1. Next, you are going to find out what is the value for your back work ratio, which is the definition is your work of your compressor divided by work of your turbine. And finally, we will get how much your thermal efficiency, which is 1 minus your work.net over q.in, where your q.in is equal to m dot cp t3 minus your t2a. Alright, let us recall back from your uh, basic concept, which is you can make use of this isentropic uh, relation. Okay, so you have state 1 to 2. This is actually an isentropic compression. So therefore, you can find your T2S using this relation, which is T2S over T1 is equal to P2 over P1 gamma minus 1 over gamma. And you can rearrange this mathematical form becoming T2S is equal to T1. P2, P1 here is equal to RP and gamma minus 1 over gamma. And if you plug in all the values here into this equation, finally you will get your T2S is equal to 585. Kelvin. Alright, now that you have already got your T2S value, so we are going to make use this one to find your T2A from the isentropic efficiency of your compressor. So if you expand the equation from the previous uh, minute, so you will see that your T2A, when you arrange this mathematical form, finally you will get T2A minus is equal to T2S minus your T1 over 0 0.9 plus your T1. And finally you will get T2A is equal to 616.333 Kelvin. Next is for you to solve your turbine part. So given to you, your state 3 to 4 is an isentropic expansion. So you make use of this relation in order to find your T4S. So T3 over T4S is equal to P3 over P4, gamma minus 1 over gamma. And you can rearrange this mathematical form and becoming T4S is equal to T3 times 1 over your pressure ratio, ratio here, gamma minus 1 over gamma. And you plug in all the values. And finally, it will give you T4S is equal to 918.32 Kelvin. Alright, so let's see um, from this T4S, when you plug in into this isentropic efficiency of your turbine, you will obtain your actual temperature. Alright, so from the stated uh, equation previously, so you have T3 minus your T4A over T3 minus your T4S which is equal to 0 0.95 and you rearrange this mathematical form and you will get your T4 actual is equal to T3 minus your 0 0.95 times with T3 minus your T4S. And finally, you will get your T4A 
is equal to 961.054 Kelvin and if you were to compare these two values your T4S and your T4A you will see that your T4S is slightly lower than your T4A value which is T4A value is much higher This indicates that the irreversibility process in your turbine affected the, the uh, actual value that going out from your turbine. The same thing with your compressor here. You will see that the actual value is much higher than the isentropic. It means that the irreversibility have caused the temperature at the outlet of your compressor a little bit rise up. Alright, now that you have all the actual value, so you can solve for the first one, which is to find your W dot net. So your W T is equal to M dot C P times if your T three minus your T four A. So you got your W of your turbine is equal to twenty four thousand four hundred and eighty point seventeen kilowatt. And for your work of your compressor, it is actually M dot CP six one six point three 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 minus with your three hundred and three Kelvin, so you will get nine thousand four hundred and forty six point nine nine kilowatt. So. Finally, your W net is equal to work of your turbine minus with work of your compressor. And in the end, the answers will be 15,033.18 kilowatt. Next is to find your back work ratio which is defined as your work of your compressor divided by work of your turbine which you have calculated earlier so you plug in work of your compressor over work of your turbine And finally, you will get 0 0.385 and you can also leave it as percentage which is 38.5%. This means that 38.5% is used to turn your compressor. So finally, you need to find your thermal cycle efficiency, but first you need to find your Q dot in first, which is M dot times CP T3 minus your T2A. And you plug in all the values here, and you will get Q dot in is equal to 34,873.6 in kilowatt. So you make use of your thermal cycle efficiency which is work.net divided by your Q.in and you will have 15,038.18 over 34,873.6 and finally, your thermal cycle efficiency is equal to 0 0.431 or equivalent to 43.10%. So you have completed all A, B and C part. It shows that only 43.10% is the cycle efficiency of your gas turbine. So we'll see.
see you in next video which is on uh, regenerative breathing cycle thank you